NBA players who revealed who their biggest nemesis are. Most of the time, we think of rivalries as being between two teams or even two fan bases, but there are plenty of examples of players carrying on long rivalries against other players. The NBA is perhaps the league where player versus player rivalries are most common. For decades, player feuds have been at the root of some of the best team rivalries. They've even existed without help from the respective teams. Hey guys, welcome to Courtside. If you'd like to get updated with all the latest basketball trends and information, please subscribe to our channel. Also, why should you be behind everyone else? So press the bell icon to never miss an update after every upload. Damian Lillard vs. Russell Westbrook Blazers star Damian Lillard talked about his rivalry with Russell Westbrook on an Instagram Live session. Russell Westbrook is the kind of player who's known to be a great teammate and a good friend off the court. As soon as he enters the court, if you wear a different color, he forgets you're a friend. The same can be said about any great player. The ability to forget personal ties and leave it all on the floor separates them from good players. Damian Lillard is one of the fiercest competitors in the NBA currently. Known for his signature Dame time and his accuracy from far away, Lillard is quite a player to contend with. Ever since he joined the NBA, there is one specific player he always keeps going up against in full flow. On an Instagram live session with Fat Joe, Lillard called Russ his arch nemesis. He said, If I had to say I had an arch nemesis, it would probably be Russ. Because when me and Russ play, we go after each other. It's been that way every time we've played since I've been in the NBA. Eight straight years of just me and him going at each other. While the two of them haven't been the best of friends on the court, Dame recently clarified things are civil amidst them off the court. In the eight years of Dame and Russ facing each other, Dame has the slight upper hand with a 14-13 record in 27 outings. In the playoffs, they have faced each other only once, where Dame sealed the 4-1 win with a dagger over Paul George. Shaquille O'Neal vs. Kobe Bryant It was sad to see Shaq and Kobe become enemies after teaming up to lead the Lakers to three championships. The two did such great things together, but turned into petulant children after Shaq left Los Angeles. We would end up seeing 11 head-to-head -head meetings between the two, most of which were must-see TV. Fortunately, the animosity between the two started to fade after both retired, as it was clear Shaq and Kobe had great respect for one another, despite their past differences. The pair seemed to have moved past their feud at the time of Bryant's untimely passing, with Shaq speaking at his memorial. Carl Malone vs. Dennis Rodman You couldn't find two power forwards who played the game any more differently than Malone and Rodman. Those differences made them a joy to watch when they faced each other, especially when the Bulls and Jazz met in the NBA Finals in back-to-back -back seasons. Naturally, Michael Jordan stole the show, but the Malone-Rodman rivalry was an incredible subplot. The battle was so heated that Rodman and Malone ended up in a meeting inside a professional wrestling ring, which says a lot about this rivalry. Michael Jordan vs. Isaiah Thomas Believe it or not, the New York Knicks fans aren't the only ones who hate Isaiah Thomas. Back when Thomas was the star point guard of the Detroit Pistons, bad boy squad, he had a rough relationship with Michael Jordan on the court. In the 1980s, the Bulls and Pistons faced off in playoffs three times and Detroit emerged victorious each time. In 1991, however, things changed. The Pistons and Bulls met in the Eastern Conference Finals once again, and the Bulls swept the series before winning the first of what would be three consecutive championships. In this series, and the previous ones with Detroit, Jordan and Thomas played very physical defenses against one another and apparently hated each other so much that when the Dream Team was being put together, Jordan said he would not play if Thomas was also on the team. The feud is basically moot now, but the fact that the two players could have such seeming hate for one another, both on and off the court, is just astounding. Larry Bird vs. Magic Johnson here we have another rivalry born on the college basketball scene. In 1979, Larry Bird led a surprisingly great Indiana State team to the NCAA National Championship game against Michigan State. The Spartans were led by a 6'9 point guard named Irvin Magic Johnson, and his versatility helped his team win the game 75-64. 
This rivalry carried over into the NBA as both players were privileged to be part of quite possibly the most storied rivalry in the history of the game, the one between the Los Angeles Lakers and the Boston Celtics. Bird Celtics were a powerhouse of the 1980s as he helped the team win three championships, even defeating Johnson's Lakers in 1984. However, the two would meet in the NBA Finals two more times in 1985 and 1987. Those times, Johnson's Lakers emerged victorious as his size allowed him the opportunity to play all five positions overall. This was a friendly rivalry as both players had no ill feelings towards each other. Still, due to the teams involved, it ranked as one of the most poignant in NBA history. So that's all for today's video. If you liked it, share it with your friends and family. And thanks for watching.